Welcome back to the Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today we are doing some more of our Black Friday sales. Yep, the madness continues. And we're going to one of my family's favorite stores. And that is Bass Pro Shops, a.k.a. Cabela's, because if you don't know, they merged. And, it, I mean... Talk about a, a perfect company to merge with. I mean, two great outdoor sporting goods kind of stores. So anyway, they've also merged their Black Friday deals. So let's take a look at it. Red Hot Specials five-day sale starts Wednesday, November 27th. Open Thanksgiving Day. Really, Bass Pro Shops? I, yeah, oh, I'm so disappointed in that. All right, we got here Vortec Binoculars 129. Uh, fleece for the whole family, only available once a year. Your choice, $10. Ooh, I like some of that. I like the vests. I'm a big fan of the fleece vests, the zip-ups. Uh, we we may have to grab some of those. What do we got here? We got the realistic Chevy Silverado and looks like a Jeep of some sort for $99. I wonder if I'd fit in that thing. And here we have a Bass Pro Cabela's exclusive. I'm not going to say what it is, but if you've been on any of the live streams, you know this is my favorite brand for that. Uh, factory mounted uh, eyesight there for, save $150 after rebate, $200. Bucks. Wow. So th they have two lines. They have their standard line and they have the Axis. The Axis usually comes with a scope. It's usually inexpensive for just a average, regular, everyday kind of thing, though. It's great. It really is. And I'm a huge fan of this brand. I own two and $150 off. $200. Good luck trying to find anything like that for $200. And here we go. We got some more. Some of the stuff you might use in those kind of things. $0.18 cents a piece. Wow. $0.33 cents a piece. That's not bad. Buy by the case and save for $99. Save up to $100 on new or used items like this with your club card. They do this every year. They get you try to get you to get into that whole club card kind of thing and here we've got let's see here your choice three in one design with waterproof liner jacket and shell your choice a hundred dollars uh we got a, a game camera a trail cam for 150 dollars you can always have some, lots of fun with those things so for the clothing here this is the brand here is redhead and if i understand correctly that's their house brand and but i i gotta be honest everything i've had from them from redhead has been great i loved it uh, we got $40 for a 3M Thinsulate jacket over here. Washed canvas hooded jacket. Uh, might have to grab one of those for the Cubs. Uh, we got Thinsulate uh, cap and gloves over here. Oh, we got some pillows. Oh, dog pillows. <laughs> and a hummingbird uh, fish finder? It is, fish finder. Not, you know, not something you normally think of in the wintery season, but if you're looking for a fish finder come spring, there you go. All right, we got some grills. We got pellet pellet stove grills, actually, uh, or pellet grills. And uh, this looks to be, is this the Cabela's brand? It looks like Cabela's got their own brand. Who knew? Uh, not me. Anyway, save $250 off the original price of $750, down to $500. And for the smaller version, you're down to $400. I know a lot of you have been looking for pellet cookers. Uh, I don't have any experience with them, but they look like a nice setup. You'd have to get paws on to see what they're really like. But here we go. Special while supplies last. This is an inflatable life vest. I'm a huge fan of these. I get it, guys. Nobody wants to wear the big, you know, buoy-looking orange life vest. They're, they're, they're uncomfortable. Or any of, the, any of the life vests, all the typical life vests you wear when boating, they're not comfortable. Everyone hates them. But these inflatable ones, they're slim. You'll forget it's there. And if you're out boating, especially if you're out boating by yourself, please get yourself one of these. All right? Just do it. And over here on the right, we got a Cabela's Outdoor Essentials combo for $10 in this waterproof container there. That's a nice little package. Maybe a great stocking stuffer there. And we got another unbelievable low price hummingbird. Unbelievable. Those dang hummingbirds, man. They're buzzing around all the time. $1,000 for an... What is that? A 10-inch screen. Wow. And we got flannel, flannel, and more good flannel. We got ladies' long shirt, flannel shirts, 33% off for $10. Try to find women's clothing for $10. Good luck with that. And we got, oh, you know what? With the holidays, there's nothing better than lounging back in some nice PJs and stuff. We got plaid flannel lo lo lounge pants. Plaid flannel lounge pants. Easy for me to say. $5. Gotta love that. And over here, we got a... 
men's bighorn long sleeve sweater for 1997. I kind of like I like those high collars on a, on a cold day. They always keep you nice and toasty. I like those. I wonder if they have them in, in grizzly sizes. And then we got hoodies for the family, men's, ladies, youth, toddler, ten dollars each. Wow, that's yeah. I know some people are gonna be getting those for Christmas. And we got some more here. Uh, ladies thermal crew neck top uh, and a ladies quarter zip fleece pullover, $10 each. We got some ladies classic straight leg jeans and some high rise skinny jeans. Oh, all $10. And women's jeans for $10. I don't buy a lot of women's jeans. At least I try to avoid it. And uh, try to get jeans for $10. That's a... For the ladies, that's a screaming deal. Oh, here we go. We got some long sleeve crew or Henley. I'm a big fan of the Henley. I used to wear Henleys all the time. I need to get back to it. Oh, over here, how about this? The lined, uh, what do you call it? lined shirt jacket. That used to be a, an old standby when I I lived in the Midwest. Uh, you know, living, spending more time down here in, in the Southwest. Not not needed quite as much, but uh, you know, we're headed back up to Montana for Thanksgiving, so. Maybe I'll grab some of that, but we got ten dollars, seventeen ninety seven men's jeans for twenty five dollars, and we got some nice boots over here, some mid waterproof hiking boots. Those are pretty nice. They're sixty nine ninety seven. I wonder if they go up into my size. You know, Sasquatch probably not. And we got a four pack of wool socks that'll keep your toes nice and toasty, and we got some lounging moccasins there for twenty dollars. Oh, I didn't notice on the men's jeans that they're they're cuffed with the pretty colors. How snazzy. All right, I may pass on that. That's a little too snazzy for the bear. Okay, and just like before, this this catalog is huge. We can't cover it all. So we're going to do some stills here on some of the, the smaller stuff. You can feel free to pause the video and check it out, and then we'll jump back into it, okay? I got to tell you, I'm, I'm going to geek out on this one. The Wi-Fi connected weather monitoring kit, normally $170 for a hundred bucks. My my wife has been asking me for a long time, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want? I've told her dozens of times I want a weather station. Because I I one of these, you know, bears who likes to track the weather and stuff. And and I've never gotten it. Never. So I might have to gift that one to myself. And we got here a toilet. What is it? Converts toilet paper into clean split spitballs. That sounds like a terrible idea. We're going to skip that. Uh, over four feet tall, you can get your own Bass Pro Shops for only $70. I wonder what the franchising fee on that is. $70. It looks a little small, but you know, pictures can be deceiving. We all know that a Bass Pro Shops is quite larger than that looks. But um, anyway, $70 for a, a, a building that size, I think is pretty cheap. And then over here, we got a three-person ice shelter combo. I'm going to be hard pass on that. Bear's not an ice fisherman. I know some of you like to go out there and fish the ice and whatnot. Uh, that That's all you. I'll, I'll wait home for you to bring the salmon home to me. And we got the Strike Master Chipper Light 8-inch ice auger. I don't even know if you can ice fish for salmon. <laughs> that's how much I know about ice fishing. Okay, moving on. The Bug Assault, I have one of these. It's still in the box. I still haven't taken it out. Mr. Heater over here, $119. This is a little propane heater. Um, low oxygen shutoff, pilot safety. So this should be safe for using in an enclosed environment. Should be safe. Okay, we got two items here. These are a brand that used to be a really hot brand and then just really isn't. I mean, this is definitely their discount version here. I will say, though, for entry-level stuff, it's not terrible, especially at that price, $200. The top one for some use around the home at night kind of security stuff, I could definitely see it. And the other one for just going out and busting some clays or for somebody who's just getting started or for a brother-in-law or something like that, probably not bad to have around. It's a good starter, a good loaner kind of thing. Anyway, these aren't top-notch, but they're good they're decent entry level kind of kind of items. Where right here we got a Cabela's safe there for five hundred dollars with the flag on it. I kind of like that. It says it carries twenty four broomsticks there. So uh, and and we got twenty dollars for a seven piece accessory kit. That's interesting. Best price ever on the uh, 
SIG, uh, it, you know, this thing's useful probably 365 days out of the year. Uh, now, this company from uh, Springfield, Illinois, has come out with a competitor to this. I know a lot of people are, they're not big fans of Springfield, Illinois. But uh, it, I think you should consider it. But this is, you know, tried and true and proven. And I've been wanting to get these for the longest time. Uh, I may have to snag one. I, I might do it. Over here on the left, we got some Cabela's and Redhead there. Men's and Youth promo hoodies for $15. And then over here, uh, we got Men's Youth and She. Men's Youth and She? <laughs> uh, Men's Youth or She Outdoor Ladies Thermal Fleece Crew Top Pants. Basically, you got your Antifa starter kit here. Buy one, get one free. And we got more redhead stuff here. We got some redhead uh, flex flannel lined pants there for $29.97. Uh, over the right, we got some wrinkle free shirts for $30. We got some Bear Creek. Oh, you got to buy. You got to buy some of these Fla Bear Creek flannel shirts. $20. Those look pretty nice. I actually kind of like them. And then we got some more of the quarter zip fatigued sweaters for $30. This is looking like the place to go if you want to keep warm this winter. Okay, now we got a whole bunch of clothing to, to jump through here. Uh, that's one of the nice things about Black Friday here at, uh, at Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops is a lot of really good clothing. A lot of three three season stuff, especially here. And, uh, you know, you got some Carhartt, some, some really big name brands. And uh, great for picking up for Christmas. And look, puffy jackets. Who doesn't want a puffy jacket? Uh, I honestly didn't think they were still making puffy jackets. But there you go, puffy jackets. And then we got stuff for the ladies in your life. Of course, they need pastels because they can't possibly wear camo or anything like that. Ah, oh, gotta love it. And uh, any Under Armour, we got some slippers, socks with the polar bear on it. Gotta sport the polar bear in your life. And uh, some nice slip-on moccasins. Uh, the cabin mocks. Oh, this came. Oh, the camo XTR. These uh, the ones on the left. I might be getting that for the misses. Square-toed boots. If you don't like square-toed boots, like the pointy stuff, this is probably more your speed. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, we like to have fleece blankets thrown around the house. They're pretty nice. Got to have. Can't have too many bears in your life. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Some more throws and such. Uh, those are kind of cool. Uh, those chairs. I'm not a fan of those chairs. Sat them in the store. Never seemed all that comfortable. Uh, the stackable mugs look pretty cool, though. Here we got some sets for the bedroom. Uh, I like the one in the center, kind of. He's got the bare paw rather than the bare silhouette. I like it, though. More of my color. Again, I like the lower left. I like the stoneware kind of stuff. Here, you can see in these mugs here over there. They're, I don't know if they're real stoneware, but they look like it at least. We got Santa in a tree stand with Frosty with a shotgun. <laughs> that is too much. And Santa behind a jet sk a tracker boat. That is okay. That's, I mean, I want to be a good redneck like anyone else, but that might be a bit, a bit that might be a bit much for the bear. Now I like this with the little seaplane or ski plane, whatever there, 89. That's kind of cute. Uh, basic weather station. This is, this is okay if you want the basic stuff. Some of us are a little more advanced. I want to know wind speed and all that kind of stuff. Oh, we're not. We're halfway through. We're halfway through, folks. All right, we got toys. Buy one, get one free. Uh, so 50% off, essentially. My cubs actually love these kind of things. They really do, and they play with them all the time. Built for fun, $39.97. I wonder if they have one in my size. I, I would play with that. All right, Cabela's. Bundle includes the game and honey rifle. The, uh, oh, wait, I see. It's for the Nintendo Switch, and your Switch controllers snap into it. Oh, that's interesting. We may have to pick that up. $40, because we love playing the hunting games when we when we go out. And the fishing game. Uh, that that may be a, that may be in some, some Christmas stockings here. So we'll have to ask Santa, see what he, he can do about that. We got some remote controls. You know, I always love the remote control boat idea. I love the idea of the remote control boat. All that means is that when you lose power, you're out swimming somewhere to get it. 
Now the Rhino Rock Tumbler True Tum True Timber 4x4 RC truck that looks like some fun over there, fifty bucks. Uh, and the Bass Pro Shops Forger RC drone. That's yeah. Good luck flying that thing. My experience with these little little drones like that is they don't last very long. And we got zooms up to 25 miles an hour, 89.97 for the Bass Pro Shops 20 volt power DC truck. Now, interesting, if you notice, it take, looks like it takes uh, like a tool battery. That'd be cool. You know what I'd really like to see? I'd really love to see, like, uh, probably not Hercules line, but probably like the Bauer line. I know some of these tool companies came out with some RC stuff. I'd love to see Harbor Freight come out with a Bauer RC truck. That would be awesome. Wouldn't you like to see that? I don't know about you, but it always seems weird to buy fishing equipment in the middle of winter. Not, <laughs> maybe, maybe that's your thing. I don't know. I like that... Uh, that tackle box there, that thing's pretty snifty. A, a line roller, if you need that, seriously, you can't do it the old-fashioned way. Tracker, I need to get one of these. I So in Montana, our place in Montana, we, you're allowed to drive these on the road there. And I really want to get one for just tooling around town because town's pretty small. And it would just be easier just to be able to hop in one of these and go where we need to go, go to the park, take the dog down to the river, something like that. i got to talk the missus into it. we got to figure a way to squeeze that into the budget all right so right here we got red hot specials this one right here on the left if you're on a budget and you're just looking to get started there is not a better budget option for there there, there just isn't the these guys were they were they were losing to the the big name in polymer tool accessories like this you know the the g1 and they were losing big time and the story goes, the CEO's like, just copy it. Just copy it. The internals are so similar that they ended up getting sued. They settled. And something like 7 to $10 from everyone sold goes to that other company. That said, if you take them apart, they look the same. They operate the same. The operating there that when you, you know, the where you put your finger, that part is a bit mushy and not great. But there are spring kits you can get to change it. I had one of these I took in, as part of a larger trade package. I just thought it was something. I was surprised. I was honestly surprised. Now, granted, I didn't turn around and sell it because I, I didn't need it. But uh, if you're on a budget and you're looking for something to get started with, I cannot say enough how, how good those are for the, for the money. Now, to the right, we got the uh, the old school, the they call it the, uh, the, the fidget spinner for men. Basic 38 size plus P, uh, that that is not a bad deal right there. Now we got the classic, the old uh, the old military package here. I think these are um, ridiculous. I hate this one. I hate it with a passion. Uh, I know some people love it. They're way bigger than people think. Some for some reason, they they come across as being smaller. So for this, they're huge. Uh, I don't like the ergonomics on them, and I love the company. I think the company makes some great stuff, but I, I'm I'm not a fan of that one. Next to it, we've got the the AP, the new APX. I I'm not up to speed with this one. Don't know much about it. Next to that, we got another discount one. The it it's not bad. It it really isn't. But I would honestly go with the first one. It, it's less expensive, and I think I think overall it's better. I really do. Now below this we got the um, the German brand, and I I I'm not I don't know I I've I've used this one I, I've used it quite a bit, uh, and it's not my favorite. And then next to that we got the old classic, um, I and and I've used models. You know I'm a big fan of the model design, the basic model design. I don't know if I would buy from this company. They both of these companies is really sad because the one to the right, they used to be really well known for quality, and I think they've taken some uh, liberty with their processing. I think both of these companies had, and they're not what they used to be. I would not recommend either of those. Uh, down here we got some ear protection. We got uh, uh, the, the Blackhawk. I I am a fan of that stuff. In everything there's a rumor going around the internet about somebody did something stupid with one of these i've been able to find no proof of it none whatsoever i think they make an excellent product and i love using them um and then to the right of that 
We've got the Bulldog Biometric. I don't know if I would want Biometric on something that I need to get access to that quickly because I've had, you know, I have Biometric on my cell phone. I have Biometric on a laptop. I've had Biometric in all sorts of places. And there's times where it doesn't work. And you're like, why aren't you working? In the middle of the night, I don't need to be fussing with it. Now, let's keep going. Here we go. We got the more distinguished gentleman version of that, that previous fidget spinner there for 367 Same uh, Same setup and everything. Otherwise, very nice, very classy. Next to that, so I used to teach classes for stuff like this uh, for years. And I saw a lot of people show up with this. And it was like the number one go-to kind of thing. And I'm not, I don't know. I, I saw more problems with this than anything else. And I, it could just because there were so many new users. A lot of people that go out, it's, it's probably like one of the top selling new user kind of uh, tools for that. And I don't know, you'll probably be fine. You'll probably be fine. I'm not a fan of this one. I'm, I'm just not, but. Uh, I would go with the, the, the 365 use tool myself, or if I'm going to go for something small, like really small, I'd get a car. Just go and buy a car. Spell it with a K. Now this, uh, yeah, I, I absolutely am a fan bearer over this company. I just, I am converting away from it for reasons I can't get into here, but you can't go wrong with it. You can't go wrong with it. And that one, my brother has it. I, it, it's, oh my gosh, I'm absolutely in love with it. I'd marry it if I could. Uh, next to that is the German kind of answer the same thing. They're great tools, but they're, the way they set up um, some of their controls are entirely backwards from everyone else, and that bothers me, so I stay away from them. Next to that is an inexpensive budget brand in the past. This has been a, a, a brand to avoid for stuff. That, I mean, if you're, if you're going to use it for practice, great. If you're using it for fun, great. But if you're using it for, you know, security purposes, avoid it. Some of these stuff, like this one here, they have really made some changes to. And they're, I would consider, if you're on a tight budget, yeah, you know, it's definitely better than, you know, throwing a rock at somebody. And uh, then down below that, if you want something... If you want some security to, you know, put in your pocket, that that is uh, an excellent way to go. It really is, and uh, it, there's nothing fun about it. it. It's not something to take out for the day and play around with kind of stuff. It is the, it is, and it's not a great solution. It's the oh my god, thank God I at least have this solution. Next to that, we got the big K brand again. Not a fan of that company. Used to be a huge fan of them, and I think that they've taken a lot of liberties with the quality. Um, I had a person that I work with who swore by them. She said that I've never had a problem with it, and then instantly right after that, just stovepipe after stovepipe after stovepipe, switched a whole bunch of stuff out. She was so pissed. I think she ended up selling it. Um, I've seen a lot of these fail in classes, not a fan of them. John Moses Browning, one of the most brilliant designers of all time. Next to that, the old plastic uh, standby. Uh, then down below that, we got uh, some uh, some great practice stuff for, for getting people trained. For getting people trained, that one in the lower right is amazing. Um, and uh, I, I highly recommend it for uh, training purposes. All right, here we go. We're back into the uh, long broomstick kind of devices here. Uh, we got a package here with the eyesight there for five twenty nine. Um, not bad. Again, as I said, I lean toward more towards the the other brand there. But we got choices here from from three or four different major companies that we've seen around. Uh, beautiful wood furniture there on the one on the lower left. We got the standard, uh, again, with eyesight there for 319 The lever action, uh, which th this company, you cannot go wrong with this company. If you want to see the great American story, uh, the great living the, Amer the American dream, look up the company, that, the, the family that's running this company. And then over to the right, we've got the, uh, 
the uh, the one that I was talking about before, and wow, at that price, at that price, you've got to get that. And this is not the discount model. This is the model up from that, but it's the base model of that. You will not you you will love it. I, I you just will. And then man, here's the classic, the classic. Oh my gosh, I want to get one of these. Um, the older Cubs get to the point where. I mean, now I don't recommend the this style for younger um, people getting into it because when that lever comes back, it's really easy to pinch the crap out of yourself. So uh, I recommend something a little bit more basic for those just getting started. But if you want to get into having some real fun, you can't go wrong with either of these. And we get we get down here again in the lower left with a hundred dollar rebate. The price is three twenty, and uh, that nice little you know, you know that that's a nice one. But and this is one case where I'm going to go against that brand because the one in the right here, there's just it, it's a it's such a proven design. It's it it there's so much aftermarket stuff for it, and it just works every single time. I think I've got three of them, to be honest. Now, here we go. We're getting serious now. So we've got the, the Big Deer Company. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. They're not bad. They're not bad. Just not a huge fan. I think you kind of pay for the name a bit with them. So let's keep going down from there. Tika. Oh, these guys make some amazing stuff. They really do. And to the right of there, the Thompson Center. I'll be honest, I don't have as much uh, information on them. In fact, I never even heard about them until I saw them at a Dick's Sporting Good uh, a, a few years back. So if you guys know something about them, you can weigh in on down below. Go for it. And then below that, this these are the guys who started the trend in this whole thing. And that's the that's the tool that did it. Uh, it's it, it it's amazing. Uh, it's lots of fun to, to use. Uh, I don't see why at this point you would go with anything else although the tika man i i might i if i'm gonna spend that much i might spend a bit more for the tika i just i'm just a fan of the way they put that that tool together anyway we got some hard cases over on the right uh and a boit and a pelican there for 169 and 199 respectively uh nice little bench setup here on the left a uh, little small for, for my taste, but maybe it'll work for you. Um, the the one thing I want to talk about down here, I'm, I'm not going to get into this. Uh, this this one over on the right with the big H. This is an ultrasonic cleaner for $100. Do not buy this. It's not that it's poor quality. It's just there's nothing special about it versus other ultrasonic cleaners. And you can buy, you can buy one from Harbor Freight. You can buy one from Amazon. You can buy, they, because it's related to this industry, it's priced way more than it needs to be. Okay, got to talk about these. So this is a fun topic for me. I'm always a big fan. We got the Cabela's here, the 48 E-Lock set. For twelve ninety nine, I know a lot of people who are like, I would never buy the E lock because if you know, in case of nuclear war, uh, you know, if there was an EMT pulse, you couldn't use it, or if there's a a uh, what you call it, a solar flare, it would it would break it. All the testing and stuff, every, everyone, the science behind that doesn't back that up. Uh, electronics like this, especially considering that the majority of electronics are actually housed behind the big metal plate uh, and uh, only the switch is out front, it's not enough to fry that switch, you'll be totally fine. The, the, the science just doesn't back it up. Uh, you'll be perfectly fine with these. Now, the one thing I will say is Canon from Bass, not Bass Pro, from uh, Tractor Supply. Hold off until we see the Tractor Supply Black Friday because they usually have great deals on these safes. The other thing is, don't let your wife get her foothold in here. Once she sees the filing cabinet kind of stuff on the left, she'll take it over, and then you'll have to be looking for someplace else to store your stuff. Uh, we got a 23 uh, unit here for $700. Just just wait. I'm not saying these are bad, but let's just wait until we see the tractor supply one. 
All right, we're on the final stretch, I promise. We've got a whole bunch of optics here uh, from Leopold, Nikon, and others. Some really good stuff, some bargain kind of stuff, uh, but, you know, definitely some, some decent usable stuff in there. we got GPS, some knife sharpening system there, more doggy kind of friendly kind of stuff. Uh, nice dog bed. Maybe time to get the Bella Hound a new dog bed. Uh, that trail camera in the center apparently connects to your cell phone. Not sure how that works. Uh, we got some more. We got a game cart, all sorts of fun stuff here. For those of you who uh, like to go old school with it, they're not leaving you out. You can get some stuff here as well. Uh, also check your state laws. These items may not be used for hunting sometimes. Tree stands again for the uh, if you want to get the upper hand, as it were. Not not my favorite method, but uh, you know I guess as you're getting older and stuff like that. We've got men's thermals to keep you warm. And you're going to want to wear them under these because that's what's going to really keep you dry and keep you warm out there. Some 5.11 stuff. That's kind of gone out of favor, hasn't it? We got some more Under Armour and uh, boots, boots and more good boots. I got to say, they make some decent boots. And we got some Irish setters down here. Those are classic. Those make great boots as well. Also, my family does this every year. Enjoy the magic of Christmas. We go down there. The kids get a look at all the toys. They get to talk to Santa and... Uh, Play, do some of the crafts and stuff. Always a good time. It's always free. Here's some more of your once in a lifetime. This is the back page of the ad. So you got your once available or available once a year savings there. Bait caster for $70. Hobbs Creek flannel. Jeans for $10. Yeah, that's a great price on jeans. Whew. I know. Big, big sale catalog. Big sale catalog. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for sticking with us. We're going to come back with more Black Friday stuff. If there's any companies you want me to cover in particular, Post it down below. We'll get to it. Big shout out. Say thank you to all our members who support the channel. You guys are rock stars. You, this is like Patreon, but built into YouTube. To uh, If you want to become a member, go to the main page of the channel. Over right where you normally click subscribe. There's a join button. You can do that there. Also, thank you for everyone who's been uh, buying and sending me pictures of the merch. Love seeing pictures of you guys with the mugs and the stickers and the sweatshirts. That's awesome. It makes our day, let me tell you. Also, thank you for everyone who joins us for Sunday Night Tool Talk Live. We're talking tool tech, family business, every Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Anyway, that's all I got for you this week. You all take care. God bless. Have an amazing holiday. Stay safe, all right? And uh, it, and I, I'm going to say it again. Uh, for those of you, I know the holidays are tough for some of you. You know, send me an email. Drop us a line. Mention down in the comments. If you need to talk to somebody, we'll, we'll be there for you, all right? Because the Dead of Tools, we're a big family here. And I know that, I mean, as much as we love the holidays, because the ho holidays are fabulous, there can be some sad times. Because it's about family, and when family's not there, it can get a little dark. So don't do it alone. Reach out to us. The Bureau will be happy to talk to you. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.